BJJAdvice.com. My name's Eddie Khan. I'm a Hoyla Gracie Jiu Jitsu Black Belt. Today we're going to teach you the basic guard pass. Helping me is James Gregory, one of my brown belts, and we're going to go right to the technique. Okay guys, so here we are in the guard position, closed guard. James has his legs closed and locked behind me, and I'm finding it difficult to pass. So the options I have is to stand up or to stay on the ground and pass. So today we're going to look at passing the guard from the ground position. So the first thing is my posture is more important than anything else. I can never be leaning down here because James is able to control me and keep me down and cause a tough time for me to try and pass. And I never want to lean too far away from him because James can open the legs, sit up, sweep and knock me over. So, I want to find a, a line or a focal point on the wall and I want to keep my eyes on that point all of the time which aligns my spine and keeps my body straight. The next important thing is the grips. Some people like to grab here with the grips but this position not only exposes my arm for an attack, it also allows James, when I start to posture, to grab each collar and pull open the fingers and the, the thumb. So, whenever I make this uh, grab here, I grab the gi and I turn my fist towards him. This way it gives me good posture here and also doesn't allow him to open the collar when he pulls because it kind of locks, it makes him fight. The second thing it does is it gives me a straight arm here. If James spins for the arm lock here, when I posture, the arm can come completely out. So that's a key point, posture and arm position. So, you block the chest with the arm. Keep my arm straight, keep my posture intact. My left arm, I'm going to put on his thigh, right here. Okay? I don't want to put it on the ground, I don't want to kind of hold him here. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to lean forward and up with the weight on this arm. I'll take my knee back, place the knee in the butt, and I'll put the legs on a 45 degree angle. From here I bring the elbow back and drop my back to the ground which opens the guard. I'm now going to step up my left leg and bring this elbow, the right one, inside. My secondary hand is going to move from the thigh and the elbow is going to move up which forces the leg onto my shoulder. From here I'm going to reach low and I'm going to feed the collar nice and high. With my elbow in. I want my elbow open here. Elbow in. From here I go on to my tiptoes and I keep looking up. I take my hand, pass it to his back of his pants and I start to move around and stack him. Once he's stacked, head up, chest heavy, he drops to the side. This hand's going to block his hip. This one's going to come around, and I'm going to switch my hip. One, two, and stay in the cross body. Guys, in the first pass I showed you to go on tiptoes and this is very good, very strong technique. But a variation to this is I put my knee down and my back knee goes up and then I continue to drive, continue to drive, continue to drive and then I make the chest slide faster. Again, keep switch, butt off the ground. Do not rest your butt knee. Guys, thanks for watching bjjadvice.com. 
we hope you liked our technique. Um, for further information on who I am and what my academy does, please check out www.ekbjj.com.